Hello everybody and welcome back to another My Porch Prints tutorials. This is Kira and today I am going to be showing you how we decorated our sepia and ivory junk journal. Um, I recently did a tutorial on how to do the base cover and also did a video where we do like a full flip through so make sure you check those out if you haven't already. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So to begin, I'm gonna start by making these little paperclip page tabs that go on the top of the journal. And so for that, I am using some butterflies. Uh, this one I actually cut out of the card, like one of the ephemera cards, um, but you could go ahead and just like print off one of the butterflies that came with the kit. And then I went ahead and traced around the butterfly on a like one of the decorative papers. So I have two halves, a front and a back. And I'm just going to use those to sandwich a paper clip together, like using some glue and a little bit of distress ink to decorate it. And it's a really quick and simple little page tab you can add to the top of your journal. But if you don't want to use glue, there is another method for this, which I'm just taking two of these mini ephemera envelopes that come with the kit. I went ahead and printed on the back of them, just some random decorative script, and then went over them with distress ink. And then using a micro hole punch, I punched a hole in the bottom of both of them. So like put them together, sandwich them together, and then punch the hole so they'd be even. And then using a brad, I'm just going to go through the hole like this of one of the pieces and then go ahead and loop that through the top of the paper clip and then add our other ephemera piece here like this and then go ahead and flatten out those prongs. And now you should have a topper that has a little bit of movement to it so these little pieces can kind of swivel like this. And I had to go a little bit faster on today's tutorial because we have a lot to cover, but if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to make these, um, I will have one linked down below on how to make like little paper clip toppers um, in depth. So check that out if you're interested. All right, so this is what they look like when they're finished. And now we are going to move on to making some of our own handmade pockets. So I have some of these papers from our letters and postcards journal kit and i've gone ahead and printed them out and cut it like cut a few pieces out here and what i'm going to be doing is folding them in half and gluing them shut like this so just adding some glue around the top and bottom and side edge like this and then i'm going to cut those pieces in half and that leaves us with like this little pocket here that we can use to put ephemera into so now that we have those pieces laid out, I'm going to go over them with just a little bit of Distress Ink. And this is the color um, Vintage Photo. And we have links to all of our um, supplies down in the description box. So if you are looking to get some Distress Ink, you can find that there. And then for decorating the page, I just added a a uh, piece of paper that I had and just like from the kit I went ahead and like had a scrap piece and I glued it down to make a little pocket added some lace and then I'm gluing one of those pockets we made down on top of it and just filling it with some various ephemera and then using like this extra ephemera card with a tab here I'm just gonna tuck that into that little paper pocket on the side and I'm having some of my ephemera pieces sticking out of my journal because that's the look I'm going for, but you don't have to do that. It's entirely optional. So just adding some ephemera to these uh, little hidden inner cover pockets that we made when we made our cover for the journal here. And then moving on to another page and my decorating is kind of sporadic. I don't go page by page. I sort of flip through the journal and find the page I want to decorate and just kind of do whatever I'm feeling. Um, so I encourage you to kind of get creative and do whatever you'd like here. So for this page, I went ahead and added glue in like an L shape to that pocket, which allows me to tuck ephemera behind it as well as into it. So that kind of makes extra storage space here with just a simple pocket. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of wax. Again, this is entirely optional. You can get these kits on Amazon, like these little wax stamper kits. And that's what I'm using here to just add like a little decorative wax seal down to the corner. You could also use like a sticker or something like that. We do have ephemera pieces like faux wax seals you could use. I will link that down in the description box below if you are interested. 
All right, for this page, I am adding one of our um, pocket tags and then using a brad to add like a little faded photo up at the top here. And then I'm just tucking in some ephemera pieces behind the tag and into the pocket. And then added like some little tiny tickets using some wax seal stickers. Um, and then I'm also going to be making this little tag here on the side and I'm just going to add a little ribbon through the top. I went ahead and added like an eyelet, so like punched out a hole and added an eyelet and a little ribbon to it just to make it a little more decorative. And then I wrapped it with a little twine and I'm going to secure it down using a paper clip and then adding a final tag with a little button here to finish up this page. And for this next page, I'm going to be grabbing this larger ephemera piece and adding glue to the top and bottom and the right side of it, leaving the left side open. I'm going to glue it down to the page to kind of help cover up that little brad that's up there that we poked through on the previous page. And this will make a little tuck spot for some ephemera pieces. So I've got like this little um, ephemera tag here that comes with the add-on kit. And I'm just going to add a couple of different ephemera pieces, like a photo and a tag and things like that, and just sort of tuck them in here, allowing them to sort of stick out the side of my journal, just like that. All right. And then also I'm going to finish it off with like a little ribbon on the inner edge, just for some extra decoration. And on the opposite page, I'm just going to paper clip down a tag and a small ephemera piece. All right, so for this spread, I'm gonna be taking one of the papers from the kit. You could use cardstock or paper. I used paper, it doesn't make a, much of a difference. And I'm just gonna be folding it like this. So folding it in half with the pretty side facing up. And then I'm going to fold these little flaps towards that center fold that we just made like this. And this is going to give us like a sort of 3D pop out effect when we glue it into the page like this. And then I'm going to take some of these circular like butterfly ephemera pieces that come with the kit. And I'm going to be gluing down some um, like pearl beading around the outside of them. So just adding a line of glue and then gluing down those little pieces, trimming them to fit here. And then I went over our like main sort of section piece here with a little bit of distress ink and then uh, the tops and bottoms I just glued down a little bit of like brown ribbon here. And now I'm going to add some glue along the bottom half of our little circle pockets that we're making and I'm going to glue those into each portion of our little fold out. And that creates a little pocket space that you can fill with some tiny ephemera pieces. I have a link to our mini ephemera kit down below, so make sure you check that out. All right, so this is what it looks like when it's all finished. So now you can go ahead and take some glue. I'm using my Fabri-Tac and I'm going to glue one edge down like this, like one of the end panels down to the edge of my page. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other edge of my panel like this. Go ahead and glue that down to the opposite page edge like this. And when you fold the page, you should get like a little bit of a pop out effect. Now, something to keep in mind is when all of these pearls are laid on top of each other, it makes the book pretty thick. So you might want to forego those little pearls if you don't want your journal to be so thick when it's closed. But again, that's a personal preference thing. And I just finished it up with some hardware corners. You could use some faux hardware. That's entirely up to you whether you use it or not. It's just what I did. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a pocket to this page, just decorating it with some ribbon and adding a couple of ephemera pieces in here, as well as one of the grunge labels from our grunge label kit. I will link that down below as well and a little piece of hardware to finish it off. Now for this next page, I'm taking a petal envelope and I'm just filling it with a bunch of little ephemera pieces and I'm going to glue it down to this page along with some other loose ephemera pieces um, from our uh, letters and postcards kit as well as the sepia and ivory kit. And I'm just adding a tag with like a little bit of twine ribbon here to just decorate the page. Nothing special. 
And then for this page, I'm adding again another letters and postcard letter. Um, I added a little bit of ribbon to the bottom. And then I took some of the photos from the sepia and ivory kit and I just tore off the edge and added a little bit of distress ink and glued it down to that letter like this. And that leaves like a little sort of like hidden sp space underneath. You could add like a secret ephemera pocket or you could like use it as writing space. All right, for this page going in with another pocket, uh, little tag pocket here. And I'm just adding some of these little bows to it that I have. Again, link will be down in the description. And I'm just filling it with various tags, adding some, you know, little ribbon to the tags, just creating little bows here. And then adding a little bit of um, lace ribbon to the bottom. All right, nice simple page there. For this next one, I'm going to be taking this brown envelope that I have. Again, we have these linked on our website, so make sure you check that out if you're interested, but any envelope will do. And I just added some lace to the edges and one of those like decorative ephemera pieces to the front of the envelope. And I'm also gonna add some lace along the like edge of the envelope flap here. And I just cut it down to fit and glued the ribbon on and then used a little butterfly ephemera, like ephemera piece to hide sort of that messy edge at the bottom of the folding flap here. And I actually really liked this little envelope. I think it turned out pretty cute. And we're gonna use this as like a little fold out piece. So I'm going to glue the envelope flap down to the page like this, just folding it over the page so that it can fold out like so. and I'm gonna fill it up with some ephemera pieces and finish off the decorating by using a paper clip and just paper clipping down some scraps and ephemera pieces that I had laying on the table, just like that. All right, so moving on to the next page here, I've got this envelope that I already decorated with some distress ink and folded and cut from the kit. And I'm just gonna add some Velcro dots to help keep it closed without being entirely sealed. So I like to do my Velcro dots like this, just sandwiching them together and then pressing them closed. And that way they line up perfectly. And now you have an envelope that can open and close like this. And then I'm gonna go over the Velcro dot on top with a little bit of distress ink so that it matches the envelope a little bit better. It just kind of blends in overall. And then I'm going to be adding a wax seal to my envelope uh, just for decoration here. So I placed it on top of a plastic lid because I couldn't find my silicone base that I usually use. So I had to use an X-Acto knife and kind of carefully pry it from the plastic. But this is what it looks like when it's done. So now you've got a little envelope with a pretty wax seal here that's capable of kind of opening and closing. And then I added some um, notebook pages to the inside of the envelope. I did have to trim these down so that they would fit, but I just went over it with some distress ink to kind of hide the fact that they were cut and then used a brad to secure them together. And then for decorating the envelope, I added um, a little bit of pearl beading to it. And then finding some ephemera pieces to tuck behind it, I just added some ribbon to those. And now I've got like a little tuck space behind my envelope because I only added glue to the bottom and the right side. So that left plenty of room for tucking in ephemera. And now on this page, I accidentally spilled some tea on here and I didn't love the way it looked. So I'm covering it up with one of those pockets that we made at the beginning of the video and just tucking some tags into it like this. And then for the bottom half of this page, I just tore off a section from one of the decorative papers and went over it with some distress ink. And I'm going to glue that down to the bottom of the page and add just a small ephemera piece with a tag on top, like a little page tab. And then I glued, an, or I uh, used some puff tape, excuse me, to stick on another ephemera piece for decoration. And then just finished it off with a tag and a paper clip. And when I'm decorating, like I said, I'm kind of just like looking through and finding pages that I think would look nice to decorate. Um, I'm not really decorating in any specific order and I like to leave some pages blank. So it's kind of just like a messy process of doing whatever you kind of feel like in the moment. Just whatever suits you and your decorating style is fine. 
And for this page, I'm going to be grabbing this ephemera piece and paper clipping one of those photos onto it. And then I added a scrap from a notebook page here, went over it with some distress ink and then added some glue to the bottom and one side of it. And that made like a little pocket that I could tuck some more ephemera tags into like this. And then I went ahead and just glued that entire ephemera piece right into the spread like so. All right, for this next page, I'm gonna be making a tri-circle pocket here. So I took this large circular ephemera piece from the kit, the centerpiece, and then I just found some items that were slightly larger, like a candle and a cup, and I just cut out slightly larger circles from some decorative paper, going over it with distress ink, and then using some glue, I'm just gonna glue on the bottom half of the circle only leaving the top hope the top half open excuse me for ephemera pieces so this is going to make like a little pocket sort of similar to what we did earlier when we made that pop out piece same kind of idea just a little bit larger and this time we're going to be layering them so starting with your largest piece and then getting smaller and smaller same process glue on half of the circle the bottom half and just glue them together like this trying not to get glue in the center here that kind of defeats the purpose <laughs> and then now that you've got all those glued down I'm gonna take some ephemera pieces and just tuck them in here using larger pieces in the back and smaller pieces in the front and then just filling it up until it looks nice and you're happy with it that's what that looks like when it's all finished and moving on to this next page here, I'm going to be taking another torn scrap, adding glue to the side and the bottom, leaving the torn edge open. And I'm just going to glue it down to my page like this. And what we're going to be doing is making kind of like a faux snippet roll idea. I'm using just like some scrap fabric, um, some cheesecloth and random scrap ribbons I had from my project and then gluing an ephemera piece on top like this. And we're just gonna layer those up the edge of the page. Now, if you're kind of intimidated by making a snippet, um, we actually have a kit where you could, like have all the pieces kind of ready to make a snippet roll as well as a tutorial that goes with that. So I will link that down below as well. If you've never made a snippet roll and you're kind of curious about it, you can check that out in the description box below. But without thinking too hard about it, I'm just gluing all these little pieces together right up the edge like this, kind of staggering them. And it gives you like this nice, pretty, like homemade uh, sort of border here that I think is kind of pretty and fun, lots of texture. And then I'm just tucking in a couple of ephemera pieces into that pocket that we made. And then moving on to the next page here, I've got this ephemera tag that I sort of folded up like accordion style, and I'm going to be adding glue to the sides and the bottom of the back panel here. And we're gonna make a little pocket that kind of folds out. So going to just glue that down into this bottom corner of the page like this. And I did add a tab as well, just to make it easier to pull that piece open. And inside the little pocket, I'm just gonna add some tags, some twine bows, and I also have a feather that I tore off of a cat toy because <laughs> I thought it looked nice, so I'm gonna add that as well. And then I've got this little paper clip here to hold everything closed. And all you have to do is remove that paper clip, and now you've got this little fold out piece here maybe you could use for hiding some ephemera or writing a little note in there or something like that. All right, now for this page, I've got these little pockets that come with the kit and I'm going to be gluing them down to the page and kind of stagger them a little bit so they're not perfectly even. And then I'm adding some little pull tab tags that I made just from some of the ephemera pieces. I like cut them in half and then rounded the corners. And then for the tabs themselves, I'm grabbing this ribbon here and I'm just going to fold it over the top and glue it down. And that gives me like a little pull tab that I can use. And then to decorate the pockets, just a little bit of cheesecloth, just a torn piece of that and one of these round ephemera pieces. And I'm just going to add that to both of the pockets here. 
and that is going to finish that page. So moving on to this next piece, I'm going to want a pretty paper printed out on cardstock and I'm going to be cutting it so that it leaves about a quarter of an inch to maybe a half inch border. I Again, I don't like to measure things because when I do, usually it's way worse than if I just kind of guess. <laughs> I'm really bad at measuring, so um, I just kind of cut a piece that was large enough to create a border around one of the pretty faded photos from this kit. And then I'm just going to trace around that photo in the center of this um, cardstock piece. And I'm going to round those uh, corners on that piece so that it looks a little more finished and then cut out that center panel like this. And again, going over it with some distress ink just to make it look a little more finished. And I'm going to glue that down to a piece of um, uh, vellum here and I'm just going to cut out the extra leaving just that panel in the center like this and it's got kind of a pretty foggy look to it. And then I added some puff tape and I just cut out layers of it and went about three layers high on the sides and the bottom leaving the top open. And this is going to create like a little pocket that we can slide our photo into. And I did add a page tab to that photo as well as one of those grunge labels just to make it a little easier to pull it in and out of the pocket. And then I'm going to finish up the decorating by adding some of these little faded butterflies that I went ahead and folded them in half to give them a little dimension and then just glued them down all over the pages. Right, for this next page, just going in with one of the pockets from the kit and I'm using some of these um, faux hardware pieces on the side of it and then just filling it up with various ephemera pieces and decorating it with some cheesecloth and another circular ephemera piece right in the center of the pocket like this. Really quick and easy decorating on that one. Now for this next page, again, same thing. I'm going in with some of those pockets here and I did glue these in the center this time, kind of keeping them even. And I'm gonna glue a little piece of ribbon, just like a strip of ribbon in the center like this for both of the pockets and finish them off with some cheese, or no, not cheesecloth, <laughs> just, the, just the ephemera piece. And I did cut out one of these um, like on my own using the other one as like a stencil because I ran out of these little pieces. So, you know, never be afraid to make some of your own ephemera pieces if you want to. And this is what those look like when they are finished. And I'm just gonna add um, a tag with a page tab on the end that go inside the pockets like this from the kit. All right, and that is going to finish up that page. So moving on to the next page here, I've got one of those um, pocket tags that I am going to again glue down in the corner. And then um, I'm only gluing the sides and the bottom and that leads leaves the back open so I can add even more ephemera to the pocket like this. And then I'm just going to add one of those bows and like a little ribbon to one of the tags and just keep it really simple. Now for this next page, I'm taking one of these large like tags that come with the kit and I'm going to be making a small slit in it using an X-Acto knife here and I'm not going all the way to the edge. We're kind of keeping it in the center of the tag here and I'm kind of going towards the lower half of the tag. And I've got a piece of chipboard in the back so I don't accidentally cut through my table or my journal. And that just makes like a little opening here. And we're gonna be using that to make a pocket here in a little bit. But first I'm going to add a couple of ribbons to the inner part of the page just for decoration. And then with that tag, I'm gonna add glue all over the top half and then just the sides and the bottom of the bottom half like this. Just gluing that down, kind of tucking it under the ribbon on the side here. And then that little slit is going to make a pocket that we can tuck, uh, tuck some ephemera pieces into like this. Adding a bow to one of those ephemera pieces to add a little more texture here. And there you go, you've got kind of like a little secret pocket. Kind of fun. 
And then I'm kind of going through here and just kind of looking at my journal and seeing what I might want to add, like maybe some ribbons or like I've got some scraps on the table here. So I'm going to add a small piece of one of those die cuts to the corner of this page. And I'm just making like a little tuck spot for some small ephemera pieces, some of those mini ephemera pieces and faded vintage labels that we have. Go ahead and add those. And then I also have this freebie that is available on our Facebook group. If you are interested in joining our Facebook group, you can go ahead and download. Um, we have a whole bunch of freebies available for our Facebook group. So definitely join if you are interested in those. And I'm just taking this one and adding it with a little hardware piece, this little hinge. Um, you could use a faux hinge as well. It would work the same way. And I'm just going to add that down here. And that gives me like a little bit more writing space and just a fun little fold out here just like this. And I did add a decorative piece inside of the envelope before I glued it shut so that it has like that little rose background. And it's just kind of a little pretty add, like an addition to your journal. And then I have some leftover scraps here. So I'm going to take this pretty decorative paper scrap and just uh, glue it down to the page for decoration and then adding a pocket on top of it like this. And then on the opposite page, I'm going to glue down this ephemera piece here. Again, just the left side and the top and bottom, leaving it open for a tuck space. And that way I can add lots of ephemera to my pocket, as well as this smaller like ticket. Um, I added a tab to it and it's just going to tuck into this edge over here. And then this tag was looking a little bit blank. So I took a torn piece from one of my ephemera pieces and I'm just turning it into a little pocket for some mini stamps here, just like that. And if you have leftover ephemera pieces, you can like paper clip them down to a page or just tuck them into a pocket. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. You know, you can keep your decorating fairly simple or you can get more decorative with it and do little details like this, adding ribbon and beading to your ephemera pieces. And again, I'm going to glue this down to a page and make like a little panel for some of my leftover scrap papers. I didn't want to just throw these out. That's a lot of ink and paper to waste. So I'm just going to fold them up and tuck them into this little space here. And you know, if somebody got this journal as like a gift, they could use those for crafting in the future. You know, just a kind of a creative way to use up all of our pieces here. All right, so that finishes up our decorating on the inside. For the outside, now we can go ahead, if you want to, and add a clasp to help hold the journal shut. Since my journal is really thick, this is going to help a lot. So I'm taking a slightly stretchy ribbon here, and I'm just going to kind of measure out how much I need, holding it to the front clasp and then kind of stretching it out to the back and just making sure that I have the right amount to hold my journal closed. And then I'm just going to cut off the portion that I need here like this. And again, this is entirely optional. You might not even need one if your journal isn't as thick as mine. So, you know, it's entirely up to you. But if you are using one of these, I'm going to go ahead and glue down that edge to the back of my journal like this using that Fabri-Tac glue and lots of it because we really want this to hold. And to help make sure that it is nice and secure, I'm also going to add a small strip of ribbon here, and that's just going to kind of cover up that edge, make it a little more decorative, and also just add a little bit more security to that piece. All right, so gluing that down. Now we can go ahead and glue our hardware to the other side of the ribbon like this, and that will just kind of help give extra hold and hold it in place while I add some brads through these little holes that the hardware comes with. And I'm just going to poke it right through my lace ribbon. This might be a little harder if you have a solid ribbon. So keep that in mind or your hardware may not even use brads kind of just depends on what you're using. So make sure you kind of plan ahead for that. And then I'm just going to fold these little prongs in kind of an L shape at the corner so that they're not poking out. I don't want to get, you know, pricked by them. And then I'm going to add the remaining brads in and trim off any extra like this. And because it looked kind of messy on the back still with the glue and those brads showing, I just decided to glue a small panel of that same lace ribbon over the top to kind of hide any mess and just trim it down to fit like this. 
and I think that looks a lot better. So that finishes up that little ribbon piece and it just secures around the journal like this and kind of holds everything in place nice and tight like so. And something to remember, if you have a soft cover, the pages, uh, the, excuse me, the covers themselves are kind of soft, so they might bend when you have a lot of like tension and pressure put on them like this. So just keep that in mind. If you have a soft cover, you might either want a little more ribbon or a thicker spine to help prevent that. But without much further ado, there you go. That is going to be our completed journal. Um, I hope you got some inspiration and had some fun with decorating and creating your own. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.